The COVID-19 pandemic is far from over. With the emergence of the more transmissible Omicron variant, the virus seems to be circling back even as we enter the third year of the pandemic. But there have been other pandemics before the coronavirus as well, all of which ended at some point. In the 14th century, the bubonic plague wiped out almost a third of Europe's population before ending. So how did such a deadly pandemic end? In the autumn of 1347 CE, a fleet of 12 ships reached Sicily with a pile of corpses on board. With the sailors that were alive on the ship were covered in boils dripping blood. With this ship came the bubonic plague that wiped out nearly a third of Europe's population in the next three years. The Black Death spread from Italy to most parts of southern Europe. By 1348, it reached England, France and Spain. The plague also subsequently reached Scandinavian and Arab countries. Flea and infected rodents that travelled along with freight to China, India, the Middle East and Europe also contributed to the spread of the disease. Most people infected by the plague had egg-shaped swellings on their bodies. They would develop bruise-like purple splotches on their chest, back or neck. These splotches inspired the children's rhyme, ring around the rosy, pocket full of poses, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. The rhyme documents what happened to plague victims, how they developed rings around rosy or bruises, how they had hemorrhages and finally collapsed and died. As per various accounts, sometimes plague victims would die almost immediately. It is not clear how Black Death ended. The plague was transmitted from human to human and through fleas and rats. In a bid to prevent its spread, people restricted their movements and socializing activities during the pandemic and would flee villages if nearby areas reported pestilence cases. Sailors on ships were asked to anchor away from the dock for 30 to 40 days to ensure that they were not carrying plague cases on board. This 40-day mandatory stay on the ship for sailors before allowing them entry to a city led to the origin of the word quarantine and its association with pandemics. Though the plague pandemic ended, the bubonic plague itself never ended. The disease kept on recurring in the form of similar plagues through the centuries. The plague cases have been reported in recent years too. Between 2010 to 2015, 3,248 cases of the plague were reported worldwide, which resulted in 584 deaths. According to the World Health Organization, since the 1990s, most human cases of the plague occurred in Africa. Pandemics do not end abruptly. Gradually, the virus or bacteria causing the disease mutates into a less belligerent form and disease turns milder. In some cases, medical interventions and efforts of healthcare workers can end a highly transmissible disease. For instance, a deadly and highly contagious disease, smallpox, has been wiped off the face of Earth after decades of efforts by the World Health Organization. Healthcare workers and medical experts also stopped Ebola from spreading and ended numerous outbreaks across Africa. According to experts, the coronavirus pandemic may end socially before it ends medically. Experts predict that people may grow so tired of the pandemic that they may declare it over even before the virus is effectively controlled. The current pandemic may also end if the virus continues to mutate into forms that cause only mild infections or if scientists develop more potent and effective vaccines and medicines.